Hey everyone, it's time to take a look at dividing fractions and mixed numbers. The first thing that we need to focus on before we start dividing fractions is a word called reciprocal. Uh, you may have heard this word before. Uh, reciprocals are two numbers with a product of one, or two numbers that when you multiply them, you get an answer of one. So if we're trying to find the reciprocal of three-fourths, um, you need to be thinking to yourself, what number can I multiply by three-fourths to get an answer of one? I'm going to let you think about this for a second and see if you can come up with it. Try a couple different things and see what you have to multiply by three-fourths to get an answer of one. If you're stuck, I'll give you a hint here. Think about what we did with simplify before you multiply. See if that helps you. All right, did anybody get an answer of four-thirds? All right, when you take three-fourths and you multiply it by four-thirds, you get an answer of one. So three-fourths and four-thirds are reciprocals. And you can look at this a couple different ways. Um, you could say, I could show you over here, three-fourths times four-thirds is, if you just multiply across, twelve-twelfths, which just equals one. Or uh, if you did the simplify before you multiply, you would see that the 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then if you just multiply across, you get 1 over 1, or just 1. All right, so reciprocals are two numbers with a product of 1. So can you find the reciprocal of 4 sevenths? All right, 4 sevenths times 7 fourths gives us 28 twenty-eighths, or there's our giant one, or just one. All right, so basically we're just flipping the fraction that we have in order to find its reciprocal. Uh, it looks a little different, though, when we have a whole number. What if our number was 8, and I wanted to know what's the reciprocal of 8? Well, you can't just flip it because it's not a fraction yet. All right, but you could write it as a fraction, right? Any whole number can be turned into a fraction by putting it over 1 or dividing by 1. And then you flip this number, so 8 over 1 times 1 eighth is equal to a whole, equal to 1. So 8 and 1 eighths are reciprocals. Let's take a look at one more um, number here before we move on to dividing. Let's say we have 2 and 1 thirds. How can we find the reciprocal of this mixed number? It's not as simple as just flipping our fraction. That doesn't work. Okay. What we need to do is turn it into an improper fraction first. So we're going to multiply our denominator by our whole number and add the numerator and I get 7 thirds. Now these two are equal to each other. Okay, I didn't find the reciprocal yet, I just rewrote 2 and 1 thirds as 7 thirds, but now I can find the reciprocal of that by flipping 3 and 7. Alright, so 7 thirds and 3 sevenths are reciprocals of each other. And now reciprocals will be really important as we move into our next topic, which is dividing fractions and mixed numbers. Here are your formal steps for dividing fractions and mixed numbers. All right, and we'll work through this example as we look at the steps. So it says, turn, imp turn them into improper fractions if necessary. So if they're mixed numbers or if they're whole numbers, make sure you turn them into fractions first. And in this example, we do need to do that. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14 fifths, divided by... 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3 halves. All right, so we turn them into improper fractions. Now it says multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we're looking at this fraction right here, 3 halves. What's the reciprocal of 3 halves? I hope you said 2 thirds. So what we're going to do is our, our first fraction always stays the same. Okay, so 14 fifths. And now we need to multiply, so our division turns into multiplication, um, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, so we're going to flip that second fraction. Okay, so 14 fifths divided by 3 halves becomes 14 fifths times 
2 thirds. And now we just multiply across. 14 times 2 is 28, and 5 times 3 is 15. And you can leave it like that as an improper fraction, or if you want to turn it back into a mixed number, I'm okay with that. Uh, 15 goes into 28 once, and there are 13 fifteenths left over. But this way is perfectly fine. Another way that you can think about this, or kind of a shortcut, a way to help you remember um, the method for dividing, is stay, switch, flip. All right, and so what this means is after you've turned both of the numbers into fractions, and that's really important, make sure you do that first, uh, then the first number stays the same. Okay, and then you switch the division sign to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction. So stay, switch, flip. Let's see what that looks like with this example. So my first number, negative 5 ninths, stays the same. Okay, now I'm going to switch the division sign to multiplication. So this becomes multiply, and I need to flip my second fraction. So 2 thirds becomes 3 halves. And now I just multiply across. Um, 5 times 3 is 15. 9 times 2 is 18, and then I've got a negative times a positive, so I know that my answer is going to be negative, 15 eighteenths. Now, I can still simplify this fraction. I see that they're both divisible by 3, and I get an answer of, okay, so negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. 18 divided by 3 is 6. There's my simplified quotient to this division problem. Let's try another one. This time we have a whole number um, divided by a mixed number, and we've got a negative thrown in the mix, too. All right, so first, turn both numbers into fractions if they're not already fractions. So these aren't, so we need to do that. How can I write 5 as a fraction? Hopefully you said 5 over 1, so let's put that down below. All right, divided by... Now we need to turn negative 1 and 1 sixth into a fraction. Well, it's still going to stay negative. Um, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So I have 5 over 1 divided by negative 7 sixths. So now they're both fractions. Now we can do our stay, switch, flip. So this first number, first fraction, stays the same. Switch our division sign to multiplication. And now we will flip our second fraction. So we get negative 6 sevenths. That's the reciprocal of negative 7 sixths. And now we just multiply across. 5 times 6 is 30. 1 times 7 is 7. And I have to pay attention to my sign here. I had a positive times a negative, so I know that my answer will be negative 30 sevenths. And there's no common factors in those two um, numbers, so that's our simplified answer, negative 30 sevenths. All right, here's an example I would like you to try by yourself. So copy it down or screen capture it, um, work through it, and then come back and see how you did. All right, you have your answer ready? Let's see how you did here. So first turn them into fractions. So four times two is eight, plus one is nine, so I have negative 9 halves divided by 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 fifths. And I need to make sure I bring down my negative. I'll put my parentheses to kind of separate. All right, so I turned them into fractions. Now my first number stays the same. I switch division to multiplication, and I flip my second number. So 11 fifths becomes 5 elevenths, and be sure to keep your negative with it. So now we have... 9 times 5 is 45, 2 times 11 is 22, and I've got a negative times a negative, so it's going to be a positive answer, and I have 45 20 seconds. And there's no common factors in my numerator and denominator, so I can keep it as is, or again, if you like to turn it into a mixed number, um, 22 goes into 45 twice, that'd be 44, so there's 1 piece left over, 2 and 1, 20 seconds. This is the way I would leave mine, though. Now, if you feel like you have the hang of it, you can stop the video at this point. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit more practice uh, where you can check your answers right away, uh, try these four problems and then come back and see 
um, if your answers are correct. And if not, you can check in with the classmate or check in with your teacher to see where you're making your errors. If you feel like you have, uh, you have this down, you've got a good understanding of it, then you can proceed to the next item in the folder. All right, here's all the answers if you chose to do these four. Check and see how you did, and again, follow up with your teacher or a classmate if you still have questions. Thanks for watching.